Hey guys, Mishi Mavros here, and I know I have been gone for quite a long time um, this time around. So basically, I've been uh, working a lot. I've been working full time at a retail store. If you guys have heard of Sally Beauty, it's how I dye my hair so often. Which, by the way, I didn't mean to dye over the blue. I got a part in a movie. So I've been busy with that as well, and I had to dye my hair black. And so I've been trying to balance like my passion and, and friends and family and like getting actual work, paying off student debts. It's just been really crazy, and I feel like my mental health has kind of suffered a little bit just because I've been so busy and I don't know how to balance everything. Because when you have a mental illness, like being an adult and doing adult things and, you know, functioning and, and paying your bills and, you know, doing everything that you're supposed to be doing is more difficult. And, and it's hard for people sometimes to understand and acknowledge that because they just see you know, how, how they've lived their life and, you know, their struggles, you know, everyone's struggles, but it is a lot harder for, for those of us who have problems just even getting out of bed in the morning. Like I went through a stage in my life where I couldn't get out of bed before two in the morning, like two in the afternoon. I couldn't work. I couldn't go to school. I couldn't do anything because I was just that low functioning. And there are different stages to borderline personality disorder. You can be very high functioning, which means you can balance you know, going to work, going to school, paying your bills, seeing all your friends and stuff, you still have that BPD, but you are able to um, balance and have like a fulfilling life, so to say. And then there's people that are low functioning, which means it is very, very hard just to do daily activities. And I think that's why there's so much stigma surrounding it is because you can't see it. And from the outside looking in, it just looks like we're lazy and it just looks like we're unmotivated and, you know, we need to buck up or whatever people, you know, whatever people say, you know, to get you to start doing stuff, you know, like, look what that person's doing. Why can't you be like them? Why can't you do this? Why can't you do that? It's because they don't see the internal struggle that we have and, and BPD and stigma and just stigma surrounding mental health in general is so serious. And so I really wanted to talk about that just because I've been receiving a lot of stigma from people in my real life and just not being able to really f like feel like I can express myself because I feel like once I do express myself, once I express my feelings, it's just like, oh, you're childish, you need to grow up or, you know, like, oh, you're psychotic. Well, I swear whenever I really am upset about something or I express my emotions and yes, people with BPD have those crazy emotions, crazy I hate to use that word, but like, just like above and beyond normal people's emotions and, and, and we have, a feel like a lower threshold, like a lower tolerance for bullshit and when we're uncomfortable in a situation it becomes very, very uncomfortable because our anxiety comes in, we're overthinking it, our depression comes in, we can't imagine life like being like this, we don't know what to do, we're kind of like literally in panic mode. Um, when I've kind of been in that mode lately, um, I feel like people have been like, okay, well, I can't handle you. Like, I don't, you know, I can't believe that like you are the way you are because it's easy to be someone's friend when they're, you know, normal. It's easy to be someone's friend when you see that good side of me, when I'm, you know, being that kind person and I go out of my way to do things for you. Um, you know, I just like, I care about people and we care about people so much. So obviously you're going to see that side. Um, it's when they see that other side, that's when it becomes difficult. But I feel like if you really do care about the person, you're not going to just be there for them when it suits you. You're going to be there for them when you realize like, yes, okay, that person does have a mental illness, but you're not going to just leave. You're not going to just be like, okay, no, this is too hard. Or, okay, no, I didn't know you were like this. Like... I always make sure to express myself and I always make sure to be very honest and open about my mental illness right when I start to get to know someone just so this doesn't happen because I've gone through friendships where it's like I didn't want to tell them and then when it did come out they were just like what the fuck like scared and stuff and you know now I'm just like you know what fine I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell people I'm just gonna be honest you know I'm honest about it on my social media now I'm I'm completely out there with it. I just, I just tell everyone now and it's been positive and it's also been negative just because when I was in school and I was like upfront about it, you know, people thought I was psychotic. People were like, oh, I'm scared to be around her because you know, you never know like what's going to happen. Like it's really shitty. And like, I'm 
still receiving a lot of like shitty comments and just shitty people and just people being mean to me because of it. And, you know, I know obviously we need to learn to manage our emotions. Like I know I'm probably going to receive comments being like, well, if you don't like it, then you should smarten up. You should change. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's like, okay, yes, we do need to find those coping mechanisms, but we, we didn't choose to be like this. We didn't choose to have a mental illness the same way people don't choose to have asthma because I also have asthma so I'm allowed to use that as an example like I didn't choose to have asthma I didn't choose to you know I didn't choose to not be able to breathe but you know people don't usually find that a problem it's only when it's like a mental illness because you can't see it it's like that's a problem borderline personality disorder especially is very 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 high in the amount of stigma it receives because I sometimes compare it to schizophrenia just so that like, you know, when I'm having like a psychotic episode or whatever, or like a psychotic episode. See, I hate, I even hate that word now because people, you know, people have called me psychotic and like they don't know what it means. A psychotic episode means that you're losing touch with reality. You're like not being, like you're not really sure of, of what is true and what's not true. That is literally psychosis. A psychotic is not when someone is expressing their emotions in a way that you're not familiar with or psychotic is not when someone's being psycho like American Psycho the movie it's not the same thing people are so uneducated about it and it just it pisses me off and it makes me go psycho <laughs> um what was I saying so when I'm having like that kind of break from reality or whatever it is very comparable to someone that has a schizophrenic episode where someone has lost touch with reality as well and they are not sure what's real and what's not real and I'm like well you wouldn't tell someone with schizophrenia to like just stop you know stop hearing voices that aren't there like that is so insensitive why would you say that people obviously I'm not saying that people with schizophrenia don't receive stigma as well because mental health as a whole is just very 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 misunderstood but I feel like borderline personality disorder it just People just think it's so much more of a choice than it really is, and it's not because studies have shown that it is both neurological and environment based. So that means our early childhood experiences as well as our brain is wired differently. Like I can't just go into my brain and just fix wires. Like yes, medication and therapy do help, but that's not always readily available. And I just wish that, you know, when I tell people in my real life this, like I, I tell them, but I don't feel like they really listen. I don't feel like they really understand. And that's why there's so much stigma surrounding it. So, you know, if you're watching this video, you're doing like the right thing. Like you're going in a step in the right direction. Either if you have BPD or you you know someone that does have BPD, you know, if you're just trying to seek to educate yourselves, like that's all you can really do. Just like take it one step at a time. Take it one day at a time. Like, yes, seek treatment, you know, um, look up ways to to study mindfulness and DBT. There's like a DBT workbook dialectical behavioral therapy there are ways in which we can better ourselves that start at home and that start with yourself that you don't need to necessarily spend three grand for therapy on or or go through like a cocktail of medications because that could make it worse and people think that once you once you take one medicine you're like oh my god like i'm cured wow thanks like no it's not like that it's not i'm so that's kind of what some of my frustrations have been on. I've been really kind of like unsure and just really kind of, I've been screwed over by a lot of people, especially this year. And I just wish people were more educated and I just wish there wasn't so much stigma, but that's why I'm being open. And so I'm being honest. And I think that people should be more open and honest with their mental illnesses as well. As well. And, you know, maybe one day we can all feel free and feel comfortable and safe enough with who we are and who who we surround ourselves with one day i hope that we can all you know just be able to talk about it freely so thank you guys so much for watching um this wasn't really specifically a video about anything it's just something i really wanted to share and i will try and make more videos more regularly it's just been really crazy in my life but um thank you guys so much for you know continuing to to watch these videos and yeah i just really appreciate it as always guys thank you so much so See you next time. Bye.